Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a mukbang q and I haven't done one of these since doing one with Jason. Uh, I don't even know, a couple of months ago it would have been, maybe a month or so ago we did one. And it was a hit with you guys. So I thought that we would do another one, me by myself. And I've popped up onto Instagram and I've got a fair few questions that you guys want me to answer. So I just got my food delivered by Uber Eats because Uber Eats is amazing. I just got it delivered. Frederick is sleeping. He's probably going to wake up any minute now, which I don't mind. He can share my food. I do not mind. So we're going to sit down, answer some questions while I eat my food. So first of all, the big question is, what did I get today? So today I actually got da, 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 salsas. I love salsas so, so, so much. It's one of my favorite foods to get is like Mexican at the moment. So salsas, I love you. Before we get into the yummy food, I just want to make a little bit of a disclaimer right now, which you would have already seen in the title because yeah, you would have seen it in the title anyway. So I am making a little disclaimer because I don't know if my get healthy with me video is going to be before or after this. I have a feeling it's going to be before this, but if it's after this, which I don't think it will be, I just want to say that I'm not classifying myself as 100% vegan. I'm classing myself as 80% vegan, 20% vegetarian, and that's really confusing. I don't know where I belong in any group at the moment. I know people will be like, oh, just classify yourself as vegetarian and that eats minimal animal products, which I have been lately. I have been calling myself that because it's really confusing when I say I'm vegan 20, um, 80% and vegetarian 20%, like it's just really confusing. But I am struggling a little bit with my food that I'm eating and I'm just, I'm struggling a little bit with taking things out of my diet that I'm trying to take out to be a vegan. So yeah, that's just the dealio at the moment. So I do have a glass of water here because I did not order a drink because I don't want to have fizzy drink today. So I just made myself a really cold glass of water. But in my salsas box, we have got, let's put it down here so I can actually grab it for you guys. Really? Really? All my chips are everywhere. Anyway, I got some chips. I got their large ones and most of the chips are actually in the bottom of the bag, but I did get their large, I don't even know what their chips are called. Chips with the, the, the special salt on it, the salsa chips. Um, I did get these bad boys. I got the large so Frederick could have some when he wakes up, but he's currently sleeping, so I have to make sure that I don't eat them all while I'm doing this mukbang. So, I've got my chips. I've also got a delicious, delicious nacho, nachos in here. This is my nachos, delicious. I um, honestly cannot wait to eat these bad boys. So, if anyone's vegan on here and is disappointed in me eating cheese and sour cream, just click away just click away if you're gonna leave something negative down below in the comments just please click away because I've got no time for that anymore so my first question is <clears throat> how are you generally feeling generally generally yes that is the word how am I generally feeling I'm I'm pretty good actually I've been going through some personal things lately which I don't want to talk about um, just not yet. I will talk about later, but just not yet. Um, and it's been taking a little bit of a toll on my happiness at the moment, but you know, my husband knows some words and he just said something to me the other day and I'm like, you are with me for some reason and I'm so glad you are because without you, I don't know where I would be. Um, so yeah, I'm generally feeling good. I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling Happy. Okay, there is a question here and asks, where do I work? So at the moment, I'm currently working at a childcare centre. Obviously, I cannot tell you which one I'm working at and what current location because that's a evasion of privacy and I'm not going to do that. So I do currently work in a childcare centre. Uh, I don't think I'll be there forever. I don't think I'll be in childcare forever. And I don't plan to be there forever. I plan to be doing something different um 
but that's my job at the moment and I'm loving it. I love my job. I love the people that I work with and it's just a really good environment and I'm just so glad that I have that job. There's a question here asking why I pushed beauty videos to the side and did something different. Honestly, beauty videos were so hard to keep up with and maintain because you have to buy the newest and greatest things in the uh, makeup industry, the beauty industry, because everyone wants the new and greatest things. And I just didn't have the money anymore to be spending on makeup every single fortnight. I just, I just didn't think it was the right thing to do for me. So I gave it up. And I have never been more happier than to give beauty, the beauty guru, the, the flick, honestly. Is it a question? What is my dream career? Um, I have a few. I've had a few. Um, so I once wanted to be a makeup artist, and that's not going to happen anymore because I don't want that. Um, and then, I don't know, my recent one at the moment is I really want to become a paramedic. I think it would be so cool and interesting and just. I've always had a passion about looking after people. I did aged care, I'm doing childcare, I just think paramedic is the next step in the care world. I wouldn't mind becoming a paramedic. If YouTube doesn't hit off in the next year or two, I'm going to become a paramedic. Like, that's what I want. I want to become a paramedic. If not, I really want to go into midwifery. Um, my friend Megan at the moment is currently studying to become a midwife and I'm so happy for her because oh, it's just a dream of mine to become a midwife so if I don't become a paramedic I want to do midwifery so yeah if YouTube doesn't go off in the next two years I'll be doing something else. Someone asked how come I don't have a relationship with my mum. It's not that I don't, I do. Um, I do have a relationship with my mum. It's just, it's hard because my mum watches these videos. <laughs> and my dog is currently going off because there's someone outside. But, it's not that I don't have a relationship with my mum, it's just, I've changed the relationship with my mum because she changed it first. Um, so things are very different between me and my mum. Like, I haven't heard from my mum since Christmas Day, so it's been a while. But it's just the way things have gone for me and my mum. Like, I adore my mum, I love my mum, but she just, um, just makes me feel really bad about myself. So it's just the way things have gone for me and my mum. Were you in any long-term relationships before, Jason? My only other long, long term was my first boyfriend. Um, we were together for 11 months. Um, first love, didn't want to leave him, um, but then I did. <laughs> yeah, so we got together at the age of 16. And then just before the year I turned the, just at the end of the year I turned 17, I, I broke up with him. Um, he actually recently just got married to the girlfriend after me. So I'm so thrilled for him. Like not, nothing bad really happened between us. Like it was a really good relationship. I just didn't see myself with him anymore so yeah um but i'm super thrilled for him to get married with the girlfriend that he um got with after me if i had to choose only one thing for the rest of my life would it be sweet potatoes or avocados it would probably be sweet potatoes i love avocados but i don't love them like that much um mm, it would probably be sweet potatoes my son's just woken up hey pumpkin did you have a nap? Pizza. No, we've got nachos. Do you want some chippies? Chippies, no. Do you want some chippies? Yes, yeah, so I get my plate. Okay, you go get a plate. It's just the cutest kid ever.
Come here. Let me give you some chippies. Is that enough or do you want some more? That's enough. Okay, good boy. You go sit. Do you want to go sit over there or do you want to sit here? Sit there. You want to sit there next to mummy? Yeah. Good boy. Okay. I feel like I'm just not digging in enough to this nachos. Like there's so much guacamole on this nachos. I'm just going to take a huge bite. <laughs> Which one of my tattoos in my is my favourite and do I want more? Currently, my favourite tattoo is this happiness one. Um, I just love it. I just love it. It's just a simple word. It's really cute and simple. Um, but yeah, that's one of my favourites at the moment. I do love my Lily just because that is the most sentimental one that I've got recently. Because that's about my nan who passed away about six months ago. Um... I do want to get more tattoos. I was actually talking to the girls at work to yesterday about tattoos because one of the girls wants to get her first tattoo and I'm like, I'm coming with you. I want more. I'll come with you. So I think I'm getting more tattoos and I just want my arm. Like all my tattoos that I want to get from now is probably going to be on this arm. So a lot of you ask if we're going to have another kid or is there a baby on the way or about kids. It happens a lot. We get this question a lot and I just don't normally answer it. I just don't like to answer it. But... I'm just going to do it for me. You guys, because that's what you want to know. Yes, we'll probably have more kids. Who knows when we'll have them. But we will have more kids. Hey, Freddie? We'll have kids. Yeah, we'll have more kids, won't we? We babies. Yeah, you want babies. There's a question here asking what was my most painful piercing. I've actually got a few. Um, I would say it's a tie. Um, I used to have my nipple piercing before I had Frederick. I took it out while I was pregnant. Um, so yeah, I would say that was definitely painful. Um, if someone says that was not a painful place, I don't know why you're not feeling pain there because that was painful. I also think my triple frontal helix was painful just because I also got them done all at the same time. Like three piercings in the same spot. At the same time, I got pierced so that I think that's all the questions I'm going to answer for this mukbang today. I'm literally so full, so I think I'm going to put this in the fridge and eat it a little bit later when I'm not so full. But I'm really full right now, so I hope you all enjoyed my little mukbang Q&A. Hey, that was a little burp in there. I hope you enjoyed this little mukbang Q&A. And if you want to see more of these, just let me know and What's I can... Tips? You can eat them. But if you want to see more of these, just let me know and I can do another one very soon and maybe we'll get something a little bit healthier. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed and we'll see you guys soon. Bye!